Today, we are driving this amazing Toyota GR Yaris with a few choice mods, which I think can make it upset quite a few of the top cars on our leaderboard. Let's see how quickly it goes around Rockingham. But before we do that, if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button. Let's do this. Oh man, that sounds so good, doesn't it? This GR Yaris, if you hadn't guessed, it's been quite substantially modified by its owner, Daniel. Now, Daniel has very kindly lent us this vehicle and he's even put a new set of Toyo Proxies Triple R's on it. So we've got a lot of grip, although the circuit today is quite greasy. But already this car feels fantastic. I mean, I've driven GI Yaris's before and I've driven other circuit pack GI Yaris's, which this is an example of. But this feels like another level already. Firstly, you can probably hear the Miltec exhaust system. Now that sounds well, it sounds like this. Oh, it sounds mega, actually. And then we've also got uprated everything, basically. So let me start the list. We have a carbon intake under the bonnet, a carbon engine cover as well, which looks lovely. Thanks to those mods, along with that exhaust, well, we now have, according to a rolling road, 295 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. That's a right old jump on standard. I think these are 260 horsepower as standard. But crucially, we still have those amazing features that Gazoo Racing, GR obviously in this Yaris's name, that division for Toyota have made this very bespoke Yaris especially, especially capable thanks to its all wheel drive system. Now it uses bits of the other more regular Yaris up front and then bits of other models behind but basically we're talking a three-door body shell built and designed in a unique way for Toyota Kazoo Racing to go into the World Rally Championship and of course you've got the two diffs on this car as well so that power isn't just sent between the two axles but it's managed independently on both axles as well now if none of that means anything to you if you're going what the hell is he talking about just know it's proper this is serious competition level technology and yet because this thing has aluminium bodywork and because it's so small i mean i have a mark ii clio 182 and this thing doesn't feel any bigger around me i mean it's a little bit wider definitely but it feels about the same and it's a tiny light car about 1.2 tons bit of weight's come out of this as well because daniel's taken the back seats out he's got a half cage in it so that's stiffened up even more man he breaks a mega it just feels proper and it's such a great engine as well. I mean, I haven't really commented on the standard three-cylinder capabilities of this motor. This is a three-cylinder motor, and it's, well, firstly, with that exhaust, it sounds like that, but secondly, it pulls so lovely. It's got loads of low-down torque, and with this six-speed gearbox as well, which is a nice, tight gearbox, really clicks through the ratios there. It doesn't, you, you just forget you've got a three-cylinder. You can tell me I'm in a six-cylinder right now, given the sound of this thing. Do I think this thing is going to upset some of the establishment, some of the top cars on our leaderboard? Yeah, I bloody well think it will do, because it's so very capable. Oh, it's so quick. It's so rapid. It's so small. Nothing this small should be this fast. <laughs> a lovely motor. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good. Right, I found my line, I found my line. I found it. Yeah, yeah, chuck it in. You gotta chuck it in, bit on the brake, and then get on the power and just use that rear axle with the extra torque being delivered in this track mode. All right, let's see how quickly it goes up against our stopwatch.
But on a hotter day, I think this thing would have challenged the sharp end of the field. I think it would have easily sat atop the hot hatch group. But today it's been cold. It actually rained a little bit in the morning as well. So the circuit is still very green. So the fact that this car is right there at the sharp end of our hot hatch group is very impressive indeed. Even though it's got four wheel drive, it had to deal with some tricky conditions. And my God, does it handle really very well. It's on the standard circuit pack suspension with those sticky tires. So it might have been roly poly, but it wasn't. It gripped and steered lovely. And of course, with most of the torque going to the rear wheels, it meant I could play around with it a bit as well. But you know, the circuit wasn't with us today, so we can be happy, but I think we need Daniel to bring this car back again on a hotter day. What do you think? Do you think this car could have gone much quicker? Of course it could have. Uh, let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to give a big thank you to the guys at Petrol Hedonism for linking us up with Daniel and his amazing Yaris. You can find Daniel on Instagram. He's on that flipping Yaris. That's what it is on Instagram. But anyway, see you soon. We'll be back at Rockingham in a matter of hours.